Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Thanks for joining us. You know, I go to a lot of reunions, military reunions, fighter pilot reunions, and they're a lot of fun. And they remind me of uh, some of my identity. You know, I have a real identity. I always wanted to be a fighter pilot. And so I wore this shirt today to kind of point that out. You know, there's the T-38, which I flew for a long time. Uh, I was a prisoner of war. I'm part of that organization. Uh, this is the Operation Homecoming, uh, requalification for former POWs. Freedom 3-4 was my call sign. And later, I was the commander of the 560, a flying training squadron, the squadron that actually did the requalification. So I was in the Air Force for a long time, have a lot of identity there, but I have other identities too. But today, we want to talk about identity because it's so important to this balance of leadership that we call results relationship type leadership. It's about the human domain of leadership. Now, in order to develop, we always have to focus on ourselves first to learn about ourselves so we can lead ourselves. When we lead ourselves well, then we are equipped and positioned to lead others well. So as we walk through this model today, I'm gonna to be sharing a model with you about identity and we'll look at the outer layers of identity, like these types of things, our profession. You know, I'm a Georgia Bulldog. My best friends are Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket. I have friends that are Auburn Tigers and Notre Dame. You know, we have friends that are members of all sorts of organizations. But what's important is to come back to the core identity because that's where a real, it's gonna drive us. And if we can be true to that in our decisions and our leadership, if we know what that is, then we're going to be really effective. So let's talk about core uh, identity and what encompasses that. Well, it's about our values, our belief system, our passion, our talents, our strengths, and, and DNA behavior is a very important part of that. I have a certain set of strengths, uh, this person has another set of strengths, and this person has another. All of that DNA coming together with our passion, our values, our belief system, uh, all makes me a unique person, makes you a unique person, and the more that you understand that, the better you can be, and the more true to that you can be, the more effective you're gonna be as a person, and especially as a leader. When you know that, and you're comfortable with yourself, you have that inner confidence that you can be strong and be humble, and that's very powerful as a leader. You know, Abraham Lincoln had that quality, he, was, he understood who he was, and he remained faithful to, to who he was. You know, in her book, uh, Team of Rivals, Doris Kearns Goodwin talks about how Abraham Lincoln actually brought into his cabinet his political opponents and had them as secretary of this or that or the other. And it was so amazing, people just couldn't believe it. It was so unorthodox. And Lincoln's response was, well, I need the best people in the job, the best people for the country, not for my party. Boy, that was a lot of inner confidence, wasn't it? But see, Lincoln was being true to his core identity of his true north, of what he believed about leadership, about himself, that people would do the right thing for the country, because he would. So that was very important. Now, we have another example in Watergate where Jeb Magruder said, you know, I was taught the right thing, but somewhere along the way, I lost my moral and ethical compass, and he got off track. And that's what we don't want to do. And I'll tell you, it's a battle. We need to be seriously aware of our inner core identity and then work, make a commitment to stay faithful to it. So that's what I want to challenge you to do today is to stop and reflect on your core identity. What are your values, your beliefs, your talents, your strengths, and so on, your passions, and then recommit to those that regardless of what comes and goes, you're gonna be faithful to that and then to courageously walk it out. When you do that, others are gonna be attracted. They're gonna see you as someone who's consistent, who has strong inner core, and that's the kind of people they like to follow. And you're setting an example for them. Now in the weeks ahead, or months ahead, we're gonna be talking about how that impacts your leadership and development of others. So I hope you'll join us. And you know, we're just really getting started in this area of identity, so I want to encourage you to join us, to become more knowledgeable of it. We are rookies here, really, kind of just learning about it, 
and grappling with it. I want to challenge you to grapple with your core identity and the overall idea of identity and make that a part of your life and ongoing development. I think you'll be glad you did. Others will be too. Thanks again for joining us today at Leading with Honor Coaching. We'll see you again next month. Thank you.